This is the West 3800 PID controller. It's a 1 8 DIN controller and it was discontinued in 2000 so the product is no longer supported. I know that uh, there are still many of these still working out on site so we've made this video um, as it may be of use for you for those of you that still have these controllers. The 3800 and the 3700 controller could accept standard input signals, thermocouples, RTDs, miniamps, uh, DC voltage input signals and provide um, relay, SSR or linear output signals. The choice would be made at the time of manufacture and ordering the controller. Selection of the type of input was by link jumpers on the uh, central processor unit board inside the controller. To get there, here's a, another controller I've got. Um, here, that screw there. Just undo the screw and and pull this out. Okay. Now we'll look at the link jumpers here which is um, how the controller would have been configured in the factory for the type of input signal. Here are the link jumpers here, here and here. And it's the selection of these link jumpers, whether the link is made or if they're parked, that would determine the configuration of the controller for different types of input, for thermocouple input and what the type of thermocouple it would be and the range, or if it's RTD and, and so on. That was done by selection of these link jumpers. Um, in the manual, and you can download the manual from our website, it shows the um, coding and the positioning for the various link jumpers to be able to reconfigure the controller. To change the set point, press the function key and it will now show set point YSP on the bottom and the current value on the top. So use the up and or lower arrows to change the set point and then once you've decided on the new set point value press the function key and you are now back into the operation mode. With the controller there is a setup menu um, where you can select the PID terms, uh, set point high and low limits, uh, configure alarms if any alarms are fitted and to get into that menu press the up and lower, the raise and lower keys together and hold them for about five seconds. The display will flash and then a set light comes on. Press the function key until the light goes to the steady state. You're now in the setup menu. If you press the function key you can then scroll through that menu. So here for example, now I'm in that menu this shows me the output power. Here's the PID terms. Proportional band, um, the rate, sorry, the, the reset, the integral time, uh, the rate, the derivative time. You can adjust these, of course, by just using the up and down arrows. Set point limits, the high limit, the low limit, the outputs, cycle time. And come back to it, exit it, come back to the process value at the top, the set point on the bottom, and press the up and down arrows together, the raise and lower, lower arrows together, hold them for five seconds, display flashes, set light flashes, press function key for about three seconds until it goes off. Now you're back into normal operation mode again. The controller has a pre-tune and self-tune uh, feature and to enter the 
um, pre-tune and self-tune. Press the up and scroll arrows together and hold for about five seconds until the set light flashes. There. Now press the auto manual and the function key together. The set light goes off and the tuning light goes on. The uh, controller is now going through the pre-tune um, feature and once it's finished it will then go to self-tune. Details of the 3700 and the 3800 controller um, can be found on our website wardindustries.co.uk go to resources and then select manuals.